we will see now about the operator specification chart in internal quality control. So here in this video we are going to see how to plot the operator specification chart. But before that we will see how to calculate the sigma matrix with an example. So in the last video we have already seen how to calculate the sigma matrix. So in this video we will see actually with the help of example how to calculate the sigma matrix. Here example of an analyte cholesterol with a total allowable error of 10%, bias 3% and CV percentage 3%. So the sigma matrix will be calculated using the formula total allowable error in percent minus bias in percent divided by CV percentage. So using this formula sigma matrix will be 10 minus 3 divided by 3 which will come as 2.33. So the sigma matrix for cholesterol will be 2.33 for the given total allowable error as well as bias and CV percentage. So with this now we will see how to plot the operator specification chart or OP spec chart. So you can see here an example of operator specification chart where five lines in a square box grid lines with the performance mark as unacceptable, poor, marginal, good, excellent and world class. How to plot this type of chart for the individual test parameter. So again we are considering the same example of cholesterol where the total allowable error is 10, bias is 3, CV percentage is 3% and the sigma matrix comes around 2.33. So before that we are going to see some formulas. What are these formulas? Let us see. First is total allowable error. Here total allowable error is calculated as bias plus twice of the CV percentage. Similarly, if we rearrange this formula, you will get bias is equal to total allowable error minus twice of the CV percent. And here the CV percentage will be equal to total allowable error minus bias divided by 2. So these three formulas which we are going to use in plotting the operator specification chart. Now again we are going to see the same example of analyte cholesterol with total allowable error 10%, bias is 3% and CV percentage is 3%. Consider this table with 5 columns and 5 rows with the grid lines. So on this table on the x axis there is allowable precision and on the y axis there will be allowable inaccuracy with the intercept at 0. So first of all let us consider the bias or the allowable inaccuracy on y axis. So in case the CV percentage is 0 the bias ranges up to total allowable error. So on y axis we are going to plot the point from 0 to 10 that is 10 will be our bias maximum bias in case of CV percentage is 0. On the x axis about the allowable imprecision so consider the formula where CV will be equal to total error minus bias divided by 2. So in case if we consider the bias equal to 0 the CV will be equal to total error divided by 2. So the maximum imprecision will be 5 that is total error divided by 2 will be equal to 5. So now here we have consider a condition 2 sigma or 2 standard deviation we will divide the total allowable error divided by 2 so it will be 5. So we have to draw a line from 10 which is the maximum allowable inaccuracy to 5 which is the maximum allowable imprecision at 2 sigma level. CV will range from up to 5. So we have to put slanting line from 10 to 5. The next in 3 sigma CV we have to consider then the total allowable uh, error that is 10 divided by 3 it will be up to 3.33 in case if the CV corresponds to 4 standard deviation or 4 sigma the next line so plot a second line from 10 to 3.33 
then for the fourth line or the for fourth sigma line the cv percentage up to fourth standard deviation will be total error divided minus bias which is zero again and cv at fourth level will be four so total error 10 divided by 4 that will be up to 2.5 so plot a third line from 10 to 2.5 then for the fifth sigma level with 10 divided by 5 so the fourth line will be from 10 to 2 that is at the fifth sigma level and lastly at the sixth sigma level 10 divided by 6 will be around 1.66 so plot a fifth line from 10 on y axis to 1.66 on x axis. So this is how the operator specification charts are plotted. So the area above the first line that is two standard deviation CV percentage. The area above this line will be called as the one sigma. The area between first line and second line will be called as two sigma. The area between second line and the third line will be called as three sigma. The area between third and fourth line will be four sigma. The area between four and fifth line is five sigma, and the area below fifth line will be called as a six sigma positions. So this is how we have plotted here the operator specification chart for the cholesterol. So now we have to plot the sigma matrix for cholesterol, which we have calculated is already two point three three, where the bias is three percent and CV percentage is three percent. So consider a line from 3 on y axis and draw a line parallel to the x axis and from the x axis draw a line corresponding to the coordinate 3 parallel to the y axis. Here the intersecting point will be 2.33 that is the 2.33 is the sigma matrix for the cholesterol. So here the performance of sigma matrix becomes comes around 2.33 which is between the first line and the second line and which comes around 2.33 sigma. Now how we classify this performance if the intersecting point falls in the one sigma it is unacceptable if the intersecting points fall in the two sigma the it is poor performance if the intersecting points falls between the three sigma that is marginal performance if the intersecting points fall in the 4 sigma the performance is good if the intersecting line falls in the 5 sigma the performance is considered excellent and if the intersecting point falls in the 6 sigma it is called the world class performance so here our performance comes in the category of poor as the point is falling in the between first line and second line which is a 2 sigma category so the performance here will be marked as a poor performance. The next we are going to see is normalized operator specification chart. What is the importance of this normalized operator specification chart? Here multiple parameters or multiple analyte can be plotted in a single operator specification chart. As we have seen in the operator specification chart here also there will be five lines correspond to the unacceptable, poor, marginal, good, excellent and world class performance. The only difference here will be the x axis ranges from 0 to 50 whereas the y axis ranges here from 0 to 100 that is observed inaccuracy percent bias which will range up to 100 percent and the observed imprecision in percent will be up to 50 percent which will range on the x axis from 0 to 50. How to plot the normalized operator specification chart. So the data is required for plotting this normalized operator specification chart. First is the total allowable error which is given in the actual value, observed standard deviations that is imprecision in the actual value, observed bias that is inaccuracy that is which is given and the medical decision limit. So now how we calculate here the x coordinate, here the x coordinate will be calculated SD divided by total allowable error into 100. So the X coordinate will be calculated in percent and Y coordinate will be calculated as bias divided by total allowable error into 100. The Y coordinate will also come in the percent. So again we are going to see the same example of cholesterol analyte where now we have a data of medical decision limit which is 200 milligram per, per DL. Total allowable error will be up to 20 milligram per DL. Standard deviation is 4 mg per DL and bias is 2 mg per
for a DL. So using this data, the X coordinate will be calculated as 4 divided by 20 into 100 that will be 20 and Y coordinate will be calculated as 2 divided by 20 into 100 that will be 10. So using this data, the X coordinate and Y coordinate will be plotted corresponding lines going parallel to the X axis and Y axis on X axis from Y axis from the 10th we will plot a parallel line to the X axis and from the X coordinate that is 20 a parallel line will be plotted the intersecting point will be considered as a operating point for the cholesterol in the normalized operator specification chart so this is how first of all we plot the normalized operator specification chart and secondly we have plotted a point corresponding to the particular analyte as a cholesterol we have taken example for calculating the operator point on the normalized operator specification chart or normalized op spec chart in the next part of this video we are going to see power function graph and how to use this normalized operator specification chart so keep following this video series for six sigma in internal quality control thank you